Greetings from Shomerville. I'm Lloyd Kaufman, creator of the Toxic Avenger. And nobody knows better the dangers of radioactive deformity than I. Just check out my prostate. It, 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 it's bigger than, a, than an eggplant. Well, I've done my part. Now uh, I'll go over and see how the lunch is compared to the world famous Troma lunch. Cred, how was the uh, how was the uh, mask? It was good, it was good, you know? It was warm, I sweat a little bit inside there, you know? But uh, it's a lot better than three hours uh, getting prosthetic glued in my face. I can take it off, have some nutritious lunch, get it right back on again. Very cool. Uh, Franny, <laughs> kept running into people. Uh, I understand Lloyd Kaufman was in your uh, food? food today. Uh, what, uh, how did it go on the set? No, it was fantastic, until he got into my food. Well, seriously, what what would you have preferred less impro improvisation? Or? No, improv is always good. It's always welcome. We like it. We uh, any uh, any advice for uh, Lloyd Kaufman or Belinda? I could probably show this to her. Um, they're fantastic. Uh, well, they haven't been in the scene together, but uh, maybe they could. Maybe you could replace Crowd and dance with her in the next scene. That'd be good. What was the biggest surprise of season two, Mark Mayer? Well, we shot season one on a bit of a shoestring, so I'd have to say the biggest surprise of season two was getting a paycheck. So, uh, what is the hardest thing about uh, doing a show like this, would you say? The hardest thing about doing a show, well, it's getting up in the morning, because I have to admit, I'm, I'm showing up on set at the time that I usually go to bed, which is around four or five in the morning, so that's, that's taken some adjusting. The very first day, I just didn't sleep, and that uh, might have been a mistake. Might have been a mistake. This is the rehearsal for the big musical number that, of course, yeah. has to be the part of the amazing episode called whatever it's called. I'm all super nice to your dad! Only hmm? a few short minutes ago I was watching you eat and look. Look what you... It's true. You've become. transformed, Belinda. You're just... You're, uh, into into a into a, a tall blind lady. Incredible. <laughs> Did you ever think that the Toxic Avenger would be in a musical? That uh, already Toxic Avenger was a musical. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> this is the real musical. So now the the musical aspect is uh, ramped way up. The production number is uh, going uh, full steam, and uh, Toxie is now. Fully, fully transformed. How did you prepare to be toxic while we're waiting here? How did well, you prepare? Well, you know, I, uh, I, I went through a terrible, terrible uh, uh, childhood. That was the main thing, you know. I had a lot of the acne and things like that. Help me get into the character, you know. Because he's an outsider. I was an outsider, you know. And uh, as many outsiders do, I eventually became a comedy writer. And uh, here I am, you know, so I'm just channeling that, that younger self right now. Did you watch Toxie movies? Because you seem to be channeling his personality. Oh, thank you, thank you, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I watch a lot of Toxic Avenger movies, a lot of trauma movies in general, you know, when it first came out. And, and then rewatched uh, uh, the first three. Uh, just to make sure I, I had my references straight for this episode, so uh, a lot of them are, are quite recent in my memories. 
So in this scene, we've just had a guy that's become the Toxic Avenger, or a very similar character, and he's done this dance love number with a woman that can see past his bad looks. In the middle of this dance number, they're suddenly surrounded in smoke and lights, and out of nowhere, like magic, because the guy is magic, Mr. Lloyd Kaufman shows up and plays violin that will sound nothing like this. Now, through movie mus magic, we will make movie music by having someone else do it. But he's going to look like an expert, because this guy knows how to create illusions for the screen. Hibikuna got nothing on me. I'm a fucking supercharged love. Seven shot six, take two. This is making dream come true. What's really cool too is meeting a guy like that and he genuinely just loves this kind of stuff. He's not like, you know, Hollywood hoity toity. <laughs> Look, we got him playing violin. So how uh, how was it uh, being uh, being a taxi? It was pretty great, man. I had a good time. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna be taxi a little more, but you know, just being taxi all by yourself, which a lot of people all across North America are doing. But then there's being taxi while Lloyd Kaufman watches you, you know, and that's something just a little bit more special. Well, that was an amazing uh, ballet, and uh, thank you. I would say Rogers and Hart slaughter on Tenth Avenue had nothing <laughs> of, nothing over this, man. <laughs> Well, I appreciate it. What is A400? What is that? A400. It's a Panasonic. Oh, Panasonic. Yeah, it's a 35 millimeter. Roll sound, please. Hibikuna got nothing on me. I'm a fucking supercharged love machine. I'll give it to you every night and day. Sorry, jumped out of my shoes. Oh, damn, baby, I'm in love with you. Been driving out on Interstate 4. The way you do it, that's me out of control. Tell us a little bit about Edmonton in the background here. You've yeah, got this uh, amazing, well, Edmonton, you have an amazing team. Uh, they're an amazing team out here, and a lot of these guys have been doing this for a very long time. Uh, a lot of them worked on SCTV, which you may know is the Second City Television Show, which is filmed two years here in Edmonton. And uh, there's been lots of big movies that have come through because, you know, it was a lot cheaper for a lot of American companies to come here and film. Now it's not so cheap because the dollar is more even. So Edmonton's building its own stuff, but their own low budget, crazy Canadian shows. Like this one! Oh, wow. This is a, this is a beast show, man. Wow. This is our amazing art partner. Hey. Right, no, I saw huh? it in the script. Looking good. She's pretty good. I just feel so naked without my huge silicone mask right now. I'm wearing a lot of under mask powder. This isn't my normal makeup. I want, I want your fans to know that I normally take more care with my... See, look, it's just messy work. And I also want to apologize. My hands appear to be in blackface of some sort. Uh, highly offensive to me. Waiter! A plate of cheeseburgers, please. Don't worry, kid. I've been there. I've been there. Thanks. I've been there. I've been there, kid. I've been there.